Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are starting with the planets from Saturn series. We have already completed the planets from Venus. If you have not watched it, please watch it in this playlist, OMG Astrology Secrets. And today we are here with Saturn. So the first house, which is the second house from Saturn, which is the next house where Saturn is placed. So if your Saturn is... In the fifth house, for example, then you need to see what's there in the sixth house, all right? Therefore, if you have a planet in second from Saturn, then these are some parameters which you can use. But, 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 always remember that at the end, you cannot make a single prediction. You cannot make a complete prediction just by this one single uh, placement. Okay, which means, for example, suppose uh, you have Saturn in the fifth house and then uh, in your second house from Saturn, which is the sixth, there is a particular planet. So you can't say, oh, this will happen in my life. Okay, because every planet, every house in your chart is in a particular house from the ascendant which is most important but you can still use the planets and you can see okay what is in the second from this planet what is in the third from this planet and you can see and understand what could happen okay so for example uh, the planet in the second from saturn is the planet which gives saturn the necessary resources because saturn uh, the second house in general, if you see the second house from the Lagna, is the house of resources. It's also the house of net worth. Okay, so what's your total net worth? That is what the second house represents. Now, it's very peculiar that Saturn as a planet can show poverty. It can show deficiencies in your life. It can show things which you want but you don't have. <laughs> or it can show things that you have but you don't want all right so do you have something in your life which you have but you don't want and do you want something in your life which you don't have <laughs> so that is what is the second house from saturn it's a very interesting house because the second house from saturn can tell you the things that your mind is always craving for because the second house from Saturn is the house which you want to acquire somehow or the other. But there is this feeling of poverty inside. All right. So as usual, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up and comment below what which planet do you have in a second from your Saturn and what's going on with that planet. All right. So very interesting house. So see, for example, <clears throat> if you have a planet in the second house from Saturn, let's say you have Jupiter, okay, Jupiter is in the next house from Saturn, then what happens is your mind may crave towards Jupiterian things. Now, what could be Jupiterian things? This is also very important. Jupiter represents so many things. So what will it be? Okay, so for this, you need to check the houses that uh, Jupiter rules in your chart, okay. From the ascendant so for example if you are you know if you are a pisces or a sagittarius rising and jupiter is anywhere but he's in the second house from saturn then it could happen that you crave for good health you are craving for uh name fame power position or recognition or respect in the society but for some reason you are not able to get it okay but this will also depend on the dignity. So if a planet is in the second house from Saturn, the dignity of the planet is very important because if the dignity is good, then what happens is you can get uh, the things that this planet represents. So as I said, if uh, if you are a Pisces Lagna, for example, Jupiter is not only your Lagna, she is also your 10th Lord. Okay, So when he is in the second from Saturn, you... You want to be more resourceful in your profession, in your status, because the first and the tenth are both the houses of name, fame, status. Okay, our tenth house is primarily more of administration, but uh, the status is also seen from the tenth and the first house. So, therefore, now if you feel 
that there are problems with resources in your life, then you need to see how you can, how well you can treat the planet in the second from Saturn. So, for example, if you have Jupiter, then you can always chant this mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. Okay, Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Shri Vamanaya. And especially if Jupiter is a prominent lord in your chart, which means he's a lord of a kendra or a very important trikona, like the ninth specially, then you should chant this mantra. Because then what happens is uh, the Vishnu Avatara, which is responsible for Jupiter, which is Vamandev, if you pray to him, then you will get the necessary resources that you need in life. Okay. Otherwise, what happens is, you think so much about that planet in your life that you start to feel everything is uh, of not much use in the horoscope, okay? So similarly, if you have uh, Venus in the second from Saturn, then what happens is you may feel that your married life is okay, but it's not functioning the best. Or you are always looking out for resources, you know, like how to improve my married life, how to improve my relationship, uh, with my spouse but if in your case venus is the lord of the 10th house so for example if you're a capricorn lagna then venus is your 10th lord so then it will not be just relationships it will also be career okay so it will also depend on the dignity as i said before if the dignity is bad then what happens is your life uh, your entire life becomes like a quest for that thing and if the dignity is good, you can find the resources for that particular area of life, but with hard work, okay? And also, because Saturn in general represents hard work, so you have to understand that if you have a planet in the second house from Saturn, in that area of life, in context of the resources related to that area of life, you, you have to be careful and you have to be mindful that people don't uh, speak lies to you, okay? So, for example, uh, if uh, your seventh lord is in the second, so seventh lord of the Lagna chart is in the second house from Saturn, then this is, it's very important that if you are going through some matrimony or arranged marriage websites in India, then you you really make sure you do background checkup of your uh, prospect prospects and um, you you don't just give in to it you know just because it's uh, getting late or everybody is getting married you know something like that so similarly if uh, the 10th lord from your lagna is in the second house from saturn you need to make sure that uh, there are things which uh, could be there in the contract so if you find a new job today tomorrow someday then you really need to make sure that you know the ins and outs okay because they may say, okay, you, you will have these resources, you have to work on this technology, that technology, you have to manage this people, that, that, that person. But at the end, you may find it is something completely different. Because Saturn is also the Karaka for uh, lies, okay. So therefore, whichever planet is there, make sure you are aware of the facts. Otherwise... Uh, Saturn also shows bondage okay so it could happen that you sign a contract and there is some kind of bondage and because of that you are not aware of how to get out of the bondage now because if this happens if this continues then you may feel that uh, that area is almost gone from your life okay so therefore if you have a planet in second from Saturn and if you are feeling life is too hard it's too difficult then, <clears throat> then you need to make sure that you chant the mantra for that planet and also uh, you need to fast on that particular day. So, for example, as I said, if Jupiter is there, you can chant that mantra, as I said, or or rather the mantra and you can also fast on Thursdays. At least till 12, you can fast. So, don't take the breakfast. Uh, you can directly take lunch or whatever ex to whatever extent you can, okay? And also try to donate on uh, the days of that planet. That could help you uh, to become more resourceful in regards to that planet. Okay, Because if a planet uh, is in the second from Saturn, don't forget Saturn is in the 12th from that planet. Okay, 
So a malefic in the 12th house from any planet can make you feel that, mm, yeah, things are tough. Things are not moving the way I want it to move. Okay, so therefore, make sure you are well aware of the pros and cons. As I said in my Mercury Venus video also, you need to be aware of the pros and cons. Okay, and because the second house shows resources, so it could be possible that... Uh, if you are working very hard in life, Saturn generally represents hard work. And if you are not successful in some area of life, you can take help from that planet. So, for example, uh, if you are suffering professionally and your uh, 11th Lord is in the second from Saturn, then, you know, maybe you can check your friend circle. Somebody may help you. Okay, so if the 8th Lord is there, you know, some in-laws, somebody from the in-laws can actually help you. Okay. Uh, but again, as I said, these are just uh, small parameters for you to actually understand and gauge what could be the situation. Uh, but uh, at the end, you need to see which houses that planet is lording from the ascendant. So as I said, uh, 11th lord is in the second from Saturn. 11th lord from the ascendant, okay? Not from moon sign or not from Saturn. Okay, So don't check the 11th house from Saturn. Check the 11th house from the Lagna. And then you will actually know what's going on, okay? And if you feel that you are too confused uh, in life, then it could also be an indication that uh, the second house from Saturn is actually having some kind of affliction. Now, affliction co could come through Mars, Rahu, or Ketu, or even the Sun sometimes, or even through functional malefics. So if the second house from Saturn is afflicted, then there is confusion and chaos in life, okay, in particular uh, in regards to those, some certain areas in your life, especially if the seventh Lord is in the second from Saturn and there is uh, affliction, okay, so then you could be confused in regards to marriage, you know, in fifth Lord is there, then you could be confused, you know, regarding your children or your love life, maybe you love two, three, four, five people, <laughs> <laughs> simultaneously and you are wondering who should I marry okay so these kind of things can happen because the second house is the accumulation okay it's like a cumulative wealth so you may feel that uh, there there is a problem with uh, cumulative wealth which is like saying you do not see a future in something or with somebody because of which there is this confusion because you do not see that there could be any benefit for you in the long run because of which you are not sure is is it worth continuing that therefore if you have this kind of a scenario then as i said please do the remedies for that planet and uh, gradually you will see that uh, things are subsiding and you are able to improve your life okay and at the end of course uh, you need to check your overall chart so for example if the second house in your original chart, in your Lagna chart, the second house from the Ascendant, which is your second house, is good enough, uh, is providing you with a lot of resources, then this problem of second from Saturn will be very localized, okay? So, for example, uh, if your second house is very strong and the tenth lord from Lagna is in the second from Saturn, you will see that there are some issues in your profession, you feel a bit lost, kind of, but it's okay, it's fine. You will not take that as a life daunting crisis, okay? But if the second house from the Lagna is also bad or not good, weak or whatever, some problem is there, then, 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 then second from Saturn can really test your patience, okay? So therefore, do the remedies, don't worry, and I hope things will be better for you, all right? Thank you so much for your patience and see you next time with planets in third house from Saturn. All right.